Hey guys, welcome back to A Little In Light. I'm Samantha. We haven't uh, had the goats in a video recently, so we're gonna address two things that our goats lack. The first and probably most obvious thing that our goats are missing uh, is their ears. Whenever someone comes to the farm or sees our goats for the first time, they usually ask what happened to their ears. Long story short, there was a woman named Eula Frey, um, and she liked goats that had short ears, specifically the ones that were from Spain area. <laughs> and um, she decided she was going to breed them together until she found like her form of perfection. And that's what became La Mancha goats. Um, a lot of people think that La Mancha goats were developed in La Mancha because of their name. However, they were actually bred and developed here in the USA, uh, specifically in Oregon. So really they're missing their ears because someone thought it was cool and decided that's what they wanted to make a breed out of, was the lack of ears. <laughs> um, some people think they're really weird. I love the uh, gopher ears. I think they're adorable. I love my little alien goats. Now the second thing that our goats don't have that other goats may or may not have is horns. Uh, we are a no horns homestead. That's for our safety, the safety of other livestock, and for the safety of the animal itself. Hey baby. Aside from other livestock, of course I don't want to get hurt while I'm out here working on the homestead, but as you guys know, we have a toddler and I don't need him getting hurt by any means. Very protective of the little one and if I can make something safer for him, I'm gonna do it. Does that feel nice? The other reason we don't let them have horns is because they are a danger to themselves. The fencing behind me is typical field fencing. Uh, it's got bigger holes on the top and smaller holes on the bottom. Here's where the problem lies, is that goats can and will stick their head through whichever hole they can fit it through. However, when their horns are big enough, it's kind of like a crab trap. They'll put their head in, but they can't get it out because their horns will lock them in. Theoretically, if you're home all the time like I am, you could check on them and make sure everybody gets out okay, but if you have to leave for any period of time, you run into kind of a deadly problem. Dehydration and predators are gonna be your biggest problem if your goat is stuck somewhere and can't get out. I have a visitor. Now, there are ways around this. Uh, you can put up special fencing like chain link or the little two by four, just like smaller holes. Um, there's ways around it. But if you're not prepared to keep your goat for the 10-ish years that they live, then you have to consider the farm that they go to next, what are their fences gonna be like? Are they gonna be safe there? In my opinion, that animal is going to have a much better life or much more likely to have a good life if they don't have horns. They're not gonna hurt anyone and have to be rehomed. You're not gonna get stuck in a fence and die. Um, it's just kind of a necessary evil. I also want to say that if your goats have horns and you want your goats to have horns, that's completely okay. I'm just explaining why we don't do horns here on my homestead. Now, sometimes the disbudding process, which is when you burn off the uh, tops of the horns when they're very, very little, so they never grow right. Um, sometimes it doesn't work quite right. And the goats will end up with things called scurs. 
Um, Ephraim, our buck, he has, right now, one skirt. But it's only about this tall, and eventually it will fall off. You can see the one skirt right there. Hey, buddy. So while he isn't completely without horns, it is much better than him having a full set. All right, guys. Well, thank you for hanging out with me today. I hope you learned something, or at least thought it was interesting. Um, yeah. We don't do horns, and we don't do ears here on the homestead. Uh, until we meet again. Bye, y'all.